Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Here is the dough. It's way up here. It's finely, fully, fully risen and activated as they say. Punch it down. We're going to need this a bit. I think I've got, I am not using four pounds of flour. I am sorry. I just don't think I could work it in. But I think I'm going to get three loaves for every pound. You should get a loaf of bread because I used one pound loaves at that time. Since I used just three, that's it. So that meant at that time she made four loaves of bread to make sure that she covered for the week because at that time you weren't allowed to have more than one slice of bread because everybody had to have a slice of starch in the meal. I'm sure she did it twice because if she had a big family, you could get 20 slices out of a loaf, anywhere from 15 to 20. If you're careful, you can get 20. And uh, if she used it for breakfast and she had like six children, that's eight. One loaf should last the day. So as fast as she cooks one, she should be bringing up another one. Now that I know how this works, I have a better What I'm doing is kneading it, which will help it get going again. I put a towel over it because I was leaving it all night. So she did, when she said fully risen, she did mean, <laughs> excuse me, I have a mess to clean up. Okay, so we just calculate four times 20 should get a lot of uh, bread stuff done. Now the temperature, I'm working on that right now. She says 10 minutes, but this is bread and I know, I think when she uh, wrote cook fast, she had a certain temperature, so I'll go into my 18th century. What, what time? No, not my 18th. I have another old cookbook and I'll check theirs on there. Well, the temperatures they use for bread because I'm pretty sure they'd be close to hers and make sure I think I know what temperature she used. But she said 10 minutes. Bread will not cook that fast. I know that for a fact. Now, we're gonna shape these up. And because I used three pounds of flour, I'm gonna get three loaves, so I greased three one pound loaves. Since this is three pounds, I'll be back. Is supposed to be now, so let's check it. This is almost this is three and a quarter pounds. Three and a quarter. So we've added with all the other stuff we've added into it, we've got three and a quarter. So if she did four pound loaves, she would do more than that.
These are all one and a half loaves. One and a half pound loaves. I've got right here. Gee, how many pounds did she do? This is one pound. Or this, I'm deciding what I'm going to do with it. Do I want to make four small loaves? If I took it all down to a quarter, you know what? gonna make three loaves. <laughs> I guess I could make four loaves if I want. This is when you start using these measures and you have to think, do you want? But I'm gonna put them in one pound loaves. I mean one pound loaf pans. They're not quite one and a half and they're not, you know, one pound are a little off. So she made a four pound loaf. If I had gotten that, I would have had five pounds. So maybe she would make five loaves at one shot. I don't think I could have gotten any more flour in. I had a heck of a time just getting that in. Well, anyway, we're going to let these fully rise like she said. They have to be fully risen. So just pat it out into like a rectangle. Because you're thinking about the size of your uh, bread pans, their distance. Roll this very, very tight. Make sure you pinch these. What is wrong with both of you? Sorry about that. Make sure you pinch your seams thoroughly. Now, I don't know how long these are going to take to rise, but we're going to let them really rise good. Like she said, fully, fully risen. So there'll be one more part after this. And we'll see how. And then we'll, when, I have some sick cats this morning. They're really, are just up chucking. Now, if your bread dries out and you, you take a look at it and it's drying out too much on the top, take a little oil and just rub it on top to make sure it doesn't get, you know, dry up. I had to do that myself. I 
Sorry about that. So we've learned that we have to use the uh, sponge culture, unless you're close to a brewery. These ends, it seems you have to pinch harder to stick. It's not like the bread we have today. It's more heavy. Oh, another thing is, is cake flour is made out of spring wheat and uh, bread flour is made out of winter wheat. The winter wheat is heavier because it's got to go through the winter. This is why it's like that in the spring. It's much lighter. That's the difference of the wheats. Now, as you can see, I rolled them to fit into the bread pan quite nicely. Now, we're going to leave them back here. Let them do what they have to do. Because it's so cold today again, I am going to have to cover them to keep them as warm as I can. No further notice. When they have risen enough, we will sit there and figure out the temperature we're going to cook it at and how long we're going to cook it. And then when it cools, we'll cut it and see if all this work was necessary and then we get it right. So, till then, because I feel it's going to be a long wait, I'll see you then in the next video.